What's up guys, it's Matt Collins Jones here, also known as D365 Geek, and today we are talking about Power Automate and OneDrive for Business, and we're going to look at the action which is get file metadata using path. So this allows you to actually pass in the path of your file from a previous step, and then allows you to get the metadata for that file that you're passing in. The metadata being common information about this file so is this a folder what's the name of it what's the image what's the type of it the sort of thing is an image is it a file is it you know an excel document etc so let's take a look at it so i'm in a onedrive for business uh, flow here um, and this is going to be triggered when a file is created in my onedrive business in this folder here then i can click on new step and i can search onedrive for business find the connector scroll down until I get to get file metadata using the path. This is only asking me for a single parameter, so this is going to be just something that I'm specifying in. As with all of these ones that use path, you can't specify anything uh, by selecting using the picker. You actually need to use the, the full path or you need to type the path in here. So in my instance, I'm just going to use this file path here. So basically what we're going to say is when we create a file in this in this folder, this Power Automate folder, using this step here, we're going to then use that same path to then give me the metadata. So let's test this out. So we'll click on test. I'll form a trigger action, save and test. Saved. Uh, and that is going to start running. And then what we'll do is we'll go to, to our OneDrive for business and we'll upload a picture of a badger. Let's upload this picture of a badger, because it's a cute badger. So badger, that badger has been uploaded. And then we'll go back to my, my flow and we can see it ran successfully. So we can see that it triggered uh, and it disappeared. So we'll go back uh, and we'll trigger this. Uh, so it triggered. And we can see the drive and we can see the name of it. So the name of the file is badger1.jpg. We've got the name of that extension. We've got the display name of it, so like what it's called in the thing. We've got the whole path here. So this is the unuser friendly path. Uh, we've got when it was modified, so we've just uploaded this. We've got the size, we've got the image type, so this is a JPEG. We've got a specification of whether this is a folder or not, so it'll tell you if it's a folder or not, and you can do conditions based on that. We have an e-tag, we have the file locator, and we also have who was last modified. So these are all really useful pieces of information that you could potentially use in your flow to either um, do conditions on or use later on if you need to set certain bits of data or write certain bits of data. So really, really useful, really handy to understand what sort of things you're getting, the metadata of those things, those files and those folders. And then you can use those for your uh, for your other actions. So, what do you guys think? Is this something you use at the moment? Do you usually need to find like the image type, like the you know, the media type? If it's an image, if it's a word document, if it's an Excel spreadsheet, do you do anything based on that? Let me know down below. If you did like this video, if you could like and share it with your friends, that would be much appreciated. If you've not already, hit that subscribe button and subscribe to my YouTube, uh, or connect with me on Twitter at d365 geek. Um, and yeah, let's have a conversation. So I'll see you guys next time.